Welcome to Collision Hub News Network, your monthly source for collision repair news, events, and the information you need to keep your business moving ahead. In this episode, Abra and Caliber merge, CCC files suit against Mitchell Partner Tractable, Ford parts with assured performance for certified repair network, all this and more, so let's get started. If your collision center seeks faster throughput in the paint booth, check out EC520, PPG's new NV High Production Clear Coat. In a two coat process with minimal flash between coats, this premium speed clear force dries in 15 minutes and your customers will appreciate its impressive gloss retention. EC520, available in both compliant and national rule regions from your local PPG refinish distributor. Caliber has announced it will absorb Abra in a move that will take the MSO to over 1,000 stores in 37 states with revenue topping $4 billion. Caliber CEO Steve Grimshaw stated, This combination will allow us to offer even greater satisfaction for our valued customers and insurance clients while creating new opportunities for the talented teammates of both companies. All locations from each will remain open with all field-based employees retaining employment. Caliber stated the company plans to bring more offerings to the industry, including dedicated non-drive, express, aluminum certified, and Highline repair centers. Headquarters of the combined company will be in Louisville, Texas. The current location of Caliber and Abra CEO and Fandozi will stay on during the transition. Honda has released a shop guide for approved seam sealers, adhesives, and other required materials for repairs. The new service bulletin is a chart listing all OEM approved products in each of the material categories. Honda now provides manufacturer names along with the part number and codes with relevant chemical details. The Honda and Acura charts can be found in the free part of Honda's OEM repair procedure website, Service Express. A Colorado dealership shop has warned insurers it won't deviate from OEM procedures. Rickenbaugh Automotive Group issued a powerful open letter vowing to use OEM repair procedures and hold staff and insurers who didn't document or support them accountable. The letter explained the company's garage keeper's carrier, Century Insurance, warned that failure to follow automaker instructions could jeopardize its protection from litigation. Based on the liability exposure and Rickenbaugh's commitment to its customers, they vowed to fire any employees or managers who failed to document OEM procedures. In addition, the company will abandon anything an insurer instructed regarding repairs that deviated from the OE requirements and would report all requests to the Colorado Insurance Commissioner's Office. Edson, the worldwide leader in premium curing technology, is revolutionizing UV curing with the introduction of the IRT UVA 2 Prep Cure 4 Digital. The ultraviolet light spectrum generated by our patented UV lamps interacts with special coating chemistries behind the protective glass to produce a fast, high quality, and durable cure, unmatched in the industry today by any other UVA spectrum equipment. Increase your production. Increase your profit. Increase your performance. For more information on the Hedson Curing Technologies, visit Hedson.com today. CCC has filed suit against artificial intelligence, photo estimating competitor and former Mitchell partner, Tractable. CCC is claiming the company posed as an independent appraisal firm to use CCC's intellectual property and sent estimates misrepresented as from CCC. According to the court filings, a party claiming to be JA Appraisal bought a CCC1 independent appraiser license in August of 2017. CCC believes it to be a fictitious front for Tractable as the address given was a guitar repair shop and JA Appraisal was not a registered business in California. CCC alleges Tractable was attempting to gain access to their data and information in an effort to discern CCC's algorithms and processes. 
The lawsuit appears to follow a split between Tractable and Mitchell, who in 2016 announced it had entered into an exclusive partnership to bring Tractable's photo estimating technology to Mitchell Work Center. A year later, Mitchell announced it would leverage the partnership to offer insurers a way to double check repair or replace decisions. However, in a November email, Mitchell Repair Sales and Service Vice President Jack Rosnett confirmed they had recently terminated the relationship and that the company was taking steps to disassociate itself from Tractable. Tractable CEO Alex Dalek, in a statement denied incorporating CCC's intellectual property in its program and called the lawsuit an attempt to stifle a competitor. Tractable has not yet filed a formal legal response with the court and requested more time. Though CCC opposed the delay, the court granted Tractable an extension. The Certified Automotive Parts Association, better known as CAPA, has announced it will now certify aftermarket backup cameras. CAPA said it would only test rear cameras with their standard 702, but it may also expand to include side and front view cameras in the future. The government has mandated backup cameras on all new cars. The revised Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard number 111 describes the minimum quality cameras need to provide and how to test them. Taking a vehicle out of compliance with this rule is not allowed. Jeep has unveiled its new truck, the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. The Gladiator's body-on-frame design will use advanced materials and engineering to be lightweight yet durable. The vehicle will feature an all-new high-strength steel frame along with aluminum hood, doors, hinges, fenders, windshield frame, and tailgate. However, the bed will be steel with four steel cross members. In other efforts to manage vehicle weight, the Gladiator will also feature hollow track and stabilizer bars, aluminum engine mounts, and steering gear. In addition, more than 80 active and passive safety features will come standard or are available presenting repairers with additional systems and other features requiring calibration. We're here at the Chicago Auto Show to bring you a special edition of iCar 360. We're here to take a look at the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. Volkswagen's latest entry into the SUV market brings with it a lot of safety features and new technology. Behind the smooth emblem in the grille is a front radar, which Volkswagen calls the Distance Regulation Control Module. The radar will require calibration if the Distance Regulation Control Module was replaced, if the Radiator Core Support Service Position Procedure was performed, if the Radiator Core Support was RNI'd or replaced, if the rear axle toe is adjusted, or if changes were made to the suspension that affect the height. There's an optional camera in the front grille. This camera is part of the peripheral or 360 camera system, which also includes cameras under the side rearview mirrors and the liftgate. The 360 camera system requires calibration for a variety of reasons, including camera replacement, certain changes in ride height, and wheel alignment. Volkswagen offers a weld bonding section and procedure for the inner and outer upper rail. The front lower rail has two replacement options, including a partial part replacement at factory seams and a sectioning procedure. For the sectioning procedure, an offset open butt joint is used. However, no dressing of the weld bead, such as grinding, is allowed. Near the rear view mirror is an optional driver assistance camera. This camera helps with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, and collision warning and braking. Static calibration of the forward-facing camera requires an alignment rack. Calibration is required if the control module is not programmed correctly, if the driver assistant system front camera was replaced, if the windshield was replaced or removed, if the rear axle toe was adjusted, after work was performed on the chassis which influences the body height, or if the level control system sensor was readapted on vehicles with dampening regulation. From the factory, the Atlas has a laser welded roof. During replacement, the roof is cut off at the laser welds and is reinstalled using a one-part urethane and a separate weld bond adhesive. The outer unisite has many sectioning locations that can be chosen depending on the damage. 
Those section locations can be either MIG welded or MIG brazed. If replacing only the outer panel, where three layers are present, the spot welds should be placed over the original weld locations. When equipped, the blind spot detection radar sensors can be found on both sides of the vehicle, behind the rear bumper cover. The sensors are part of the blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert systems. The sensors normally calibrate automatically and only require a static calibration if certain DTCs are present. The outer quarter panel service assembly includes the drip rail and the tail lamp pocket. If these parts are not needed, they can be removed. Sectioning is allowed in multiple locations on the rear body panel and the rear trunk floor, allowing several options for replacement. The sectioning joint for the rear rail is an open butt joint. However, no dressing of the weld bead, such as grinding, is allowed. For more information on Volkswagen vehicles, visit iCar's Repairability Technical Support website. And for more training on Volkswagen vehicles, visit iCar.com and sign up for the one-hour online course, Understanding Volkswagen Collision Repair. Chief and Silette have announced a partnership in what they're saying will create the industry's most expansive databases of vehicle dimensional specifications. Through the alliance, the companies will leverage their individual data collection technologies and will share information so that both companies can expand their specification databases to provide maximum vehicle coverage. While some redundancies will be present, Chief has a more complete database in North America and China, while Select's focus is in Europe and other regions of the world such as India. In addition to sharing information, they will also share distributors. Chief will begin to distribute all Select OEM approved measuring systems and collision repair equipment across most of North America, South America, and China. Ford announced it would end its relationship with Assured Performance and bring management of its certified collision program in-house. Existing Ford certified repairers will be grandfathered into the new program temporarily, remaining until their renewal dates in 2019. At that time, shops will need to reapply to be approved. Assured Performance's obligation to the shops and program ends December 31st. The grandfathered shops will be overseen by Ford starting January 1st. Ford stated one of the reasons for bringing the program in-house was to be closer to the repairers. This will allow the OE direct lines of communication with the shop. The company will continue to leave the program open to everyone. No caps on shop count nationally or by market are planned. Ford will begin taking applications for certification in January of 2019. However, one thing was noticeably missing from the OE's announcement. A commitment to OE parts in the repairs as laid out in the company's own position statements and consumer education websites and videos. Ford stated the program will not require the shops to use OEM parts. It does plan to score repairers on key performance indicators and will introduce a scheduled process assessment for all shops. Visitors will observe repairs in progress, not just on Ford models, and offer guidance to the shop and technicians on repair process and techniques. At the time of the release, there was no information on who Ford would be using for these inspections or how their technical expertise to offer such coaching will be verified. Other program additions Ford plans to establish are a collision repair hotline and shop specialization designations such as ADOS and electric vehicles. Shops looking for more information on the program or its changes can visit the Ford Collision website. Enterprise, Rent-A-Car, and General Motors have announced a partnership to add more than 100,000 tech-connected cars to the rental fleet. The vehicles will be able to automatically transmit data such as fuel level and odometer readings to branches. Enterprise plans to add the Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac vehicles to its fleet over the next 12 months across the brands, including National and Alamo Rent-A-Car with the goal of ultimately transitioning its entire fleet to connected vehicles. The new connected features could expedite the renting and returning of vehicles for customers by automating many current tasks. In today's collision repair environment, 
You need a partner who cares about meeting the needs of your customers as much as you and one that understands the pace of your business. The training and dedication of our 24,000 employees allows Hertz to provide world-class customer service and seamless integration into your workflow while providing the daily support you need most. That is why we promise to do whatever it takes to not only keep up, but to move ahead. Hertz is ready. Are you? Thank you for watching this month's edition of Collision Hub News. We hope you'll make CHNN your source for the collision repair news and information you need. Want more in-depth coverage of the stories you heard about today? Please visit Repairer Driven News, your daily source for information and editorial features for the collision repair industry. If you need to catch up on past episodes of CHNN, visit the YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe, ensuring you'll never miss another edition.